Okay. Hey! <laughs> <laughs> How are you? Good. How are you? So good. Thank you so much, Crystal, for being here with us. We are so super excited to have you. Yes, I'm excited to be here. Always nervous, always nervous, but excited. We have it wrong. You do not have to be nervous with the Black Cinema fam. This is so chill, so relaxed. It's not just just be yourself. We're just gonna have some girl talk tonight. So super yes. excited to have you. Hey everybody. Hey. Ah, <laughs> vibrant key. What's up? <laughs> Woo! Okay, wait, we haven't met, like, officially. No, we haven't. So, officially, my name is Niana. Niana? Yes. Nice to meet you. Wait, spell it. N-E-O-N-N-A. Niana. Got it. Okay. Yes. I like to get people's names right, because, like, people call me Crystal instead of Crystal Lee. So I always try to like make it my business to get people's names right. So. And I have now noted that Crystal Lee. Yeah. Got it from here on out. Crystal Lee, thank you. Thank for you, ma'am. That was beautiful. Um, <laughs> can we get into it with you? Can we get right into it? Let's get right into it. Awesome. Did you bring your champagne? Did you bring your wine? Are you relaxed? I just was like, dang, I <laughs> forgot it. But it would have been nice. It would have been nice. I brought a little bit. I brought a little bit. I came from you Paris did. in case. <laughs> Ooh, yes. Okay, you know what? I have... Hold on, wait. <laughs> hey, Jeff. I see you. You're I'm a not going to go Christy. pop the bottle like that, but I will have a little bit of water. Okay. <laughs> you got some sort of libation going, and that's that's all that matters. So. I had it all set up, but I still forgot it. <laughs> all right, love. So... Just have a few questions for you. Want to get to know you a bit. Uh, right off the gate, I want to know when did you realize that acting was your passion? This is something that you wanted to seriously pursue. Um, I really wanted to seriously pursue it after like my first year of college. So I went away, and I was like, I loved the whole college. But I first went to FAMU. Hey, I know, right? <laughs> Represent. <laughs> yes, and um. And uh, I love that whole experience, but I knew that, like, I really didn't want, like, a desk and a cubicle and a boss or even to even be anybody else's boss. I really wanted to just, like, be my own boss in a, in a way. And so I, um, and so after that first year, I was like, all right, I'm, I'm done. So, but I still wanted my degree. So I went back to, like, I went back to home and I, like, uh, enrolled in, like, a little community college. And then I graduated from FIU and... It was like in the Miami area where I could like pursue acting and entertainment. So that's when I knew. I knew in my first year of college. I was like, yep, <laughs> I like this, but I don't want to do it. So, mm. yeah. Was there a particular experience or role that you were cast in during that time that made you kind of really have that aha moment, as Oprah would call it, and realize, oh, my God, I love this? Or have you sort of been acting like your whole life? that makes sense um you know uh I think what it was probably like the first my first like my first kind of biggish commercial I booked which was for KFC I was <laughs> like I killed it <laughs> and then I booked it and I was like I knew I killed it and like I think that's when I really got the confidence that like I could really do this so that is awesome. my <laughs> KFC commercial. <laughs> Good old KFC commercial. You know, I love it. That is awesome. That is awesome. So you were cast in Netflix's popular original series, Dear White People. I love the show. I love the original yeah. series and I love the film. Uh, what was it like working with such a diverse set on the cast? I mean, like you had like a rainbow <laughs> of yeah. people to work with, such a variety. What was that like for you? Oh my God, I loved, I loved it. I love Dear White People. Um, it was, it was amazing. And uh, I was there for like, a, I was there for a few days uh, sh uh, filming. And um, dang, like I, it, I got to like meet, you know, some of the actors that were in the movie. Yeah. And so I was like, <sighs> <laughs> that's good. Cool. Yeah, yeah. It, it was dope. It was like, 
it was um that was also my first kind of biggish like acting role yeah that was my first big biggish like acting role so woo that one that one was like a game changer and then to be on something that i was like already a fan of like it was mm-hmm. real that is fantastic what a blessing what a great opportunity for you yes yes so special yes. so actually browsing your from browsing your filmography and I want to read this because I want to make sure I rattle all of these names off, right? As you deserve all of your credit. Thanks. <laughs> you have also made appearances in a couple of very widely known shows such as Ballers, Oh, yep. Jane the Virgin, Obsessed, yeah. <laughs> and Criminal Minds. Yes. So regardless of your role, what do you feel like set yourself apart from the others who also auditioned for those roles? Um, you know what, I think, uh, I think I am, I'm, I'm more bold when I go into the audition room. I think that like, I go balls to the wall and I kind of, I run the room. That's kind of what I do. So like, if I do a take in the room and I'm, and I, in my heart, I'm like, that wasn't it. I'll say, let's do that again. And we'll do it again. (laughs) Okay. (laughs) I know people are afraid to speak up that way. And actually, I'm also afraid. But that's what the difference is. The difference is that I'm afraid, but I do it anyway. Mm -hmm. And I think that's what the major difference is. I'm like, "Mm, we're going to do that again. Because that's actually actually what happened with Dear White People. Like, I did it, and I I reflected. I was like, that wasn't it. I go, one more time. And I did it again, and I was like, that was it. And then I booked it. I love That is great advice. Yeah. So I- I'm going to walk away with that. Mm-hmm. Own the room. Do not be afraid to own the room. I love no, that. Yeah. Have to. I love that. Absolutely. So speaking of that confidence and owning the room, do you have any advice for anyone who may have any interest in getting into the film industry, acting, or just that producing any part of the entertainment industry altogether? Do you have any advice that you might be able to lend? Yeah. I think the the biggest thing that I've learned is that you can't skip out on the work. Like you can't skip it. It's it's not it's not possible. And that's like anything. And that that's like universally, but it's universally but especially acting because you'll waste a lot of time um if you if you try to skip it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and um time you know I when I talk about this like to my friends I'm like you know I'm pursuing the impossible like this is like impossible like Mm -hmm. it's not like going to school and like you know getting a degree and then you apply to 50 jobs and then you get interviews for 10 and then you pick one it's not like that and um it's uh it's very very difficult and because it's so difficult there's no one straight path like like at school when you get a syllabus there's no no one is laying it all out for you to do it you have to have your own kind of drive and because of that there's no like yellow brick road you have to do the work there's no skipping it so if you aren't gonna commit to doing the work that's totally fine but you got to do something else because you're gonna waste a lot of time pursuing something that you don't want to put in like real ass blood sweat and tears for that's solid. That's some solid advice right there. That's very transparent. Very real. You can't, you can't skip out on the work and expect to achieve results. It's just not going to happen. At least not, not the results you want. Yeah, like, no. Be, not when you're trying to, as I say, pursue the impossible. Like, <laughs> yeah. no. <laughs> if you want to be in somebody's movie, you better get to work. Make sure you study. Because it's uh, we, we've talked to other celebrities, you know, they've given advice as well. And it's way more to the craft and just, spitting out a few lines. I mean, you have to go deep with that thing, you know? So do the work. That's amazing. Thank you for sharing that with us. Mm -hmm. Uh, So we want to talk about your role on the popular (laughs) Black novella. (laughs) Some call it the haves and the have-nots. Yes. Where you play Alyssa. Could you tell those who aren't familiar with the show about it, just a little bit about the series, um, and then about your role in the series? Hmm. Well, (laughs) Oh, the haves and the 
haves and the have nots. Oh. <laughs> you know what's funny? Like my mom is like uh uh she has her Hulu account and I, I come into her little Hulu account and I see she's like she's trying to really like watch from season one oh, all mama. of like you're not gonna get you're not gonna get here. But anyway, yeah. um <laughs> Alyssa, Alyssa, um, <laughs> I love Alyssa. Uh, yeah, Alyssa is, um, she is, uh, formerly, well, well friends with Erica. Uh oh, hold up. Whoops, okay. Uh, yeah, she's friends with Erica, and, um, she's coming to deliver a message on behalf of Erica for, uh, to David. And, um, uh, okay, I don't know if anyone, Seen it, but for those that don't know, like uh, Erica died, <laughs> mm -hmm. and so because she passed away, she is delivering a message to David for her friend Erica. Um, Alyssa is also formerly a prostitute under Candace, mm -hmm. and uh, she's just innocently doing this one favor for her friend. And she sees David and she's like, Wait a minute, hold up. <laughs> <laughs> Well, here's this message, but while I'm here, <laughs> mm -hmm. I love it. And I'm I love, I love that that about her. I'm like, shoot your shot. Shoot your shot, Alyssa. Right? Go ahead, girl. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, That's, did you watch the show prior to being cast for the role? I watched the pilot, and that was it. Mm -hmm. um, it's a lot. It's a lot. Huh? It's a the, lot. The pilot was enough. So I was like, mm -hmm. oh, that's enough. I got it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I get it. <laughs> um, so, no, I, I haven't seen the whole show. Uh, but I did definitely see the pilot for the audition. And then, and then, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Then you but, fail. <laughs> yep. <laughs> so, let's talk about Tyler Perry's sisters. Yeah, get into this with you. Such an incredible series. It's doing so well right now. Mm -hmm. You are phenomenal in it. Oh, thank um, you. Yes, absolutely. So in this series, you have a recurring role as Jasmine Borders. Mm -hmm. um, and I've actually seen some people in the comments saying, we love Jasmine, just as we've been chatting. Um, the show has gotten high praise for its creativity and relatability um, and just overall humor. From your point of view, what would you say Sisters is about? And what does Jasmine bring to the show? Um, Sisters is following the lives of those four beautiful melanated sisters. Mm -hmm. yeah. right. And it's just following them navigating like their lives and relationships and love. And Jasmine comes in in this entanglement <laughs> um, <Yeah. laughs> with um, her husband and then Andy, um, the uh, like the like the main of the lead. Oops. Okay. And then um, and what happens? And did you ask me? I think that was the answer. I don't. I don't remember the question anymore. I got lost. I was like, oh, sisters. I forgot the question, girl. <laughs> you're fine. You're fine. So we were just wondering, pretty much from your point of view, what is sisters about per oh. se? Like. Mm -hmm. Yes. Oh, yeah. So it's just basically um, about those four girls and uh, following their lives uh, through like love and relationships. Um, and then um, <laughs> my storyline, of course, like I said, it's uh, it wraps around with Andy yeah. as she is living with my husband. Uh -huh. And uh, I come to find out because or Jasmine comes to find out because she is uh, seeking out her count, seeking out Andy's counsel because she's a fantastic divorce lawyer, but mm -hmm. not that great as like a side chick. Like, you're not yeah. great at this. Yeah. <laughs> she's so clumsy. <laughs> I love it, and that ending. Like, I don't. I don't want to give too much away, but like, does she die or like what just happened there? <laughs> uh, Jasmine. Yes. At the end of season one or the or season two that we just shot? Season one. Um I don't want you to give any what can you can you can you give us any like, you know, insight, any detail? I can say that she doesn't die. That's for sure. Okay, awesome, awesome. In season one. <laughs> so she's coming back with a vengeance, yes. I'm sure. 
<laughs> yes, she is. So I, I'm, I'm already ready? like getting all my my clapbacks ready for everybody because hey. people will be really like coming for Jack. Like you either love her or you hate her. And so I'm like, okay, I got my clapbacks ready for y'all. Like, okay, <laughs> <laughs> I cannot wait. Right. I can't wait. <laughs> so speaking of people coming for Jasmine. What would you say is the biggest misconception about your character, Jasmine? Um, I think that it's that she is the villain. Mm. She is the villain by default. Like, every show has to have some type of conflict, some type yeah. of villain, if you will. But, like, she's, but she's not the real villain here. Right. Like, um, she's a go-getter. Like, I love Jasmine. Like, I love Jasmine. She's um, she's definitely misunderstood. And, um, yeah, I think that that's what it is. It's, like, because of the lengths that she goes to to yeah. not lose, <laughs> she gets, like, labeled as a villain. But she's far from a villain. Far from a villain. Yeah. No, I would, I would never, in any scenario, like, it doesn't matter, you know, what, what's happening, ever blame the wife at, or even portray the wife as the villain, even if they had heinous problems in their marriage like if you're the side chick like you're not the villain in this situation you know right. that's just my opinion though so I'm, I'm I think I'm team Jasmine you know so I'm ready to see when you come back I'm ready for these cat bats I'm ready I'm so ready <laughs> <laughs> season two is definitely something and uh and uh Jasmine definitely has something in store for everyone Ooh, okay. Mm -hmm. All right. I was so, like, oh, what? Uh, <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah. So cute. So now you work alongside an amazing cast on this show. Like, honestly, too many beautiful women to sit here and, and name. Right. Have you really honestly built any bonds with these women? Like, outside of the show, like, are you all as close at, well, how is it close as you all are on the show? But... Outside of casting there, outside of filming, I should say, have you guys built any bonds and been able to hang out or get close? Um, so when I came on to Sisters, they had already started filming. So they had been filming for like a couple of weeks before I ever even got there. So mm -hmm. they already like had like dinner with Tyler Perry. They had, I believe they had like a, a cast dinner with like even the cast of The Oval. So they already like were like, Ugh! you know, yeah. So I came into like, hi. <laughs> and uh, so they already have like their really, you know, kind of like bonds. Um, and yeah. then um, so um, and then I, I felt, yeah, yeah. So yeah, they were already close. And uh, but I have had definitely like relationships with um, definitely KJ. I have the most scenes with her um, mm -hmm. than anyone else. Um, yeah, not even Gary, my, the guy, um, Cheeto, who plays my husband. So I have the most scenes with KJ. So naturally, I'm closest with KJ out of the main cast. And then probably like a close, like a second is like Novi. Like Novi is so dope. Like she's just like a ball of like sunshine all the time. And even when she's not sunshine, it's still like sunshine. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so... <laughs> Uh, yeah, yeah, I'm I'm probably like the closest with those two. That's awesome. We love to hear that. We really do. It just you know, as fans, it just makes us. Uh, it just makes us feel yeah, yeah, yeah. We love to hear it. <laughs> so I know a lot of people are actually interested in knowing about that quarantine camp that uh, Tyler Perry actually set up. Can you give yes. us a little bit more insight about that? Oh uh, yes. You know what? Did you go to um summer camp when you were a kid? I did. I went to church camp in the okay. summer. Okay. Is it, <laughs> do they do like, they do like the same stuff, like games and arts and crafts and sports yeah. and like exactly. the arts, right? Okay. Yeah. It literally was the same thing. Just some Jesus sprinkle in between activities. Yes. <laughs> of course. Of course. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> um, well, it was like, it was like that. It was like summer camp, like when you were a kid and I'm a big kid at heart. So I was like, <laughs> Uh, and it was hot and we were outdoors like mm -hmm. oh man it was fun I was like 
I was doing cartwheels. Like, I was, like, having a lot of fun. So, yeah, it was just like that. So, like, I went to, like, a summer camp for the arts. So, like, we did acting. We did singing. We did dancing. Yeah. Blah, blah, So, yeah. oh, and then at the end of camp, you put on, like, a show for your parents. So, like, mm -hmm. this was like that. It was like, and I went to my fittings. I went to rehearsal. Uh, you know what I mean? <laughs> like, I hung out with these people, that people. Um, and then at the end, it was all, you know what I mean? And then we were, like, filming. And I was like, oh, my God, this is just, like, adult summer camp. It was dope. Um, Love it. Things about it. It was really hot. Um, we, you know, it's, it's Georgia. It's Georgia. So it was, like, humid, yes. humid hot. But um, I still loved every moment of it. It was, it was like probably like one of the like definitely like my best experience of 2020 because there's not many experiences. It's just oh, uh, I mean, yeah. I mean, that's wonderful. <laughs> I mean, it has to be an amazing experience. Like just to be on the same ground, just with Tyler Perry experiencing all of that with people who are just as grateful and humble as you. That's a really special experience. So yeah, what a blessing. What a treat. Um, are there any shows currently on that you would love to be a part of? Anything that you've ever watched and set back and been like, man, I can see myself in this cast. Yes, there are. Um, but I'm not gonna name I'm not gonna name them because like I don't wanna jinx it. And then also like some of them are just like some shows that I'm like curious about. I'm like, this is interesting. Not knowing mm -hmm. like, I don't know if I'm actually even a good fit. You know what I mean? You gotta consider mm -hmm. that. But um, but there are things I'm like, I wonder. <laughs> But uh, yeah, I'm not going to name because I don't want to jinx anything. <laughs> well, we don't want you to jinx anything either. But we will touch and agree with you that it manifests and it does come to reality, whatever it is. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. So this is uh, something I'm really excited to talk with you about. Could you share with your viewers or our viewers <laughs> your brand, She Hustler? Oh, yeah. Talk a little bit about that and what that represents. Oh, Lord. Yes. She Hustler is like, oh, my God, this is like a 10, 10 year old like dream of mine. Something I've been like cultivating seriously for over 10 years. Um, I've been like um, creating and just like coming up with like what exactly it means. And like really what it where it came from is how I've been able to take myself from point A to like sitting here right now. And it's like it's very much a mentality and um, it's very much, um, it's like, it's a lot of like discipline and a lot of strategic decisions that I've made. And I've kind of like summed it all up and like labeled it like she hustler. And it's okay. very, it speaks very much to, like I said, how I took myself from, um, you know, withdrawing from FAMU my first year to getting here, which I didn't even think I would even be on anything, Tyler Perry, to be perfectly honest. Um, mm. And um, and then also how like, um, yeah, it's it's mostly that. And so whenever I wear like my She Hustler merch, whenever I'm uh, kind of just embodying that idea, I just feel so powerful and I'm so passionate about it. It's like, it's something I'm gonna be working on like probably like for my whole life. Like it's not just even, it's not even just like a fad, like, oh, this, that, this, that. It's something I'm like, it's like very much a part of who I am and it's very personal and uh, to me. And so um, it's just something that I'm always, I think I'm always gonna have and I'm always gonna talk about and always kind of try to empower other women to see themselves as that. Um, because it, like I said, like I, I can't say it enough. Like I've been able to do like things I never thought I'd ever be able to do with just this mentality and um, the way that I have chosen to make things happen for myself. So that's, that's she hustler. Like, I hope that wasn't vague, but um, no, <laughs> but that that's really like, that's how I feel about it. And that's, that's like really what it's about. Like it's about like empowering yourself so that you can go ahead and achieve all the things that you wanted to do, even though you didn't even think that you would be ever to be able to do some of the things that you've done. So yeah, definitely. She hustler. That is a beautiful description. I, I, I think I'm a she hustler. Yeah, or at yeah. least I'm aspiring to be. Yes. I think most women, we, we want to be she hustlers. So I it's, think that's beautiful. It's she hustler season, honey. It's she hustler season. Hey, claim it. 
I'm hustling, booked and busy. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Absolutely. And there's also merch. Can you tell us where we can purchase that? Oh, yes. Um, all of it is at shehustlerbycln.com. Um, and um, yeah, just been working on that forever and finally launched it. One other thing I want to say, like, I didn't even think that this was like the right time to launch it, but I just, I couldn't wait any longer. And I was like, I don't want to wait anymore. I really just want to get going. I just want to just jump off the cliff with it, you know, like just jump yeah. and see what happens. Yeah. So that's, that's what I did. And that's where I'm at. So yeah. Leap of faith. Sometimes you have to take a leap of faith. 100. Absolutely. And they say faith without works is dead. And you are working. You obviously are a chief hustler. The definition of working hard. So that leap of faith is absolutely going to pay off if it hasn't already. So Thank that's you. very encouraging. Thank you so much. <laughs> absolutely. Absolutely. Um, when is the new season of Sisters premiering for those of us who don't know? Uh, October 14th. Wednesday, October 14th. Only on BET. Okay. Only on BET. <laughs> BET. Come home. I love that. I love that. Too. I love that too. I've always loved that. I'm so glad you said that. I love right? that. Come home. Isn't that so like, I love us. I love, I love us. us. Yes. Hey. <laughs> love us. So, now, this question, uh, I love asking this question. It's probably one of my favorites whenever we get to have someone on. Giving each other our flowers while we're still here. That's a trend that I've kind of seen becoming really popular, especially on Instagram, Facebook, social media overall. Like, you'll see the reference, you know, I want to give XYZ their flowers because of whatever the reason. If you could give any soul person their flowers, famous or not, who would that person be for you in your life and why? Oh, my gosh. There's so many deserving. Um, there, there's just too many. So I really would have to give, I would, I would give it to my mom. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's sweet. There's just, there's so many. I couldn't even just be like you. So it's like, you know what, mom, my mom worked really hard a lot of, a lot of her life. And I think that, um, a lot of my like hustling mentality has come from her. My mom is like really, really nice. Re and, and when I say nice, I mean, um, she, she is a little bit of a pushover. And I think I saw that growing up. <laughs> yeah. And I was like, that's, that's yeah. not happening. That's not that's happening. Mm -hmm. And, but at the same time, I respect that about her. I'm like, oh, you're so nice. Oh, and, yeah. Uh, I, I admire <laughs> that about her. <laughs> so I'm like, you know what? These flowers for you, mom. <laughs> um, all the flowers. Take all the flowers. Mom. Yeah, yeah. She definitely deserves it. Definitely deserves it. So, giving it to my mom. That is beautiful. We thank you, mom. Crystal Lee, where can folks follow you on social media? Name all of it, all the places. <laughs> you know what? It's at Crystal Lee Naomi for just the two, just Instagram and Twitter. But I don't really tweet, so it's just Instagram. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> That's and it. Can you drop that website for your merch one more time. She has her by CLN.com. Hey, hey. So we want to thank you, Crystal Lee. You have been beautiful and you have been wonderful. Thank you. You have been so amazing. Thank you. I appreciate you. Want to give you a special thanks. And then I also want to give, uh, well, Jamar would like to give a special <laughs> shout out. He's here. A special shout out and thank you for allowing us to interview tonight and for becoming a part of our Black Cinema Now family. Jamar is actually the head of Black Cinema Now. This is his baby. So he really wanted to thank you and welcome you into the family. I tried to pull him over here. <laughs> he didn't want to come on, but Why? Thank you so much. Okay. He's so shy. <laughs> <laughs> That's so cute. We, I'm never going to see his face. Oh, my God. Come on. Look, she wants to see if it Look, he's like, yeah. Okay. <laughs> maybe okay. maybe time, next time. time. Maybe next time. But okay. we thank you, Crystal Lee. You are so beautiful. And we're going to be watching you. And we can't wait for Sisters to premiere season two only on BET, girl. Yes. Come can, home. Thank you so come much. Come home. Amazing and so pleasant and so sweet. I love it. Thank you so much. Thank you. And, and you thank you, Tamar. <laughs> 
Well, she said she loved me too, Jamar. <laughs> Make sure that you're following Crystal Lee on social media. Make sure that you're following Black Cinema Now. And follow me, your girl, Niana, on H Wood Gems. And we'll see y'all next time. Enjoy your night, Crystal Lee. Thank you. See you. See you. <laughs> Bye, y'all.